carbonyl compounds carbonyl compounds are those compounds which have presence of co group this may be aldehyde ketones acid halide anhydride ester carboxylic acid or amide so carbonyl compounds are those compounds which have presence of co group may be aldehyde may be aldehyde may be ketone may be acid halide may be anhydride may be ester may be carboxylic acid or may be amide but on the basis of chemical reaction these carbonyl compounds are divided into two parts first which shows addition reaction they are aldehyde and ketones and those which shows substitution reactions are called as carboxylic acid and its derivative they are acid halide and hydride ester and amide they are the derivative of carboxylic acid and this one is the carboxylic acid that is if oh is replaced by any atom or group then it is called as the derivative of carboxylic acid it may be in the form of acid halide and hydride ester or maybe amide when we carefully analyze the chemical reactions of carbonyl compounds may be aldehyde or ketones or acid halide anhydride ester carboxylic acid or amide due to electron negativity difference between carbon and oxygen carbon acquires positive positive charge in both the cases so any electron rich species that is the nucleophile will attack easily over this particular positive positive charge okay and break this pi bond similar to the case here also nucleophile attack over this carbon breaks this pi bond but next part is this this will form this type of tetrahedral intermediate but in this case the intermediate form are like this x o c o r o r o h on ns2 okay when we carefully analyze this particular have only o negative but this particular have o negative as well as the leaving groups halogen o o o and n they are the good leaving group so during the course of reaction oxygen donates electron towards carbon making pi bond and this leaving group goes out and overall product of this reaction is substitution while this negative charge is stable it will attack over electrophilic center and form o e n u h and r if this goes out it will be x negative or r negative which are unstable but if this goes out x negative o c o r negative o r negative o s negative or n s 2 negative these are the stable because electron negative atoms having negative charge so overall reaction is aldehyde ketones giving nucleophilic addition reaction this is the example of nucleophilic addition reaction while in this case nucleophile attack over this positive positive carbon and form first tetrahedral intermediate then loses this leaving group to form a new sigma bond sigma bond that is loss of sigma bond loss of sigma bond and gain of new sigma bond so overall reaction is substitution 
and nucleophile first attack over this particular carbon and replace with this living group. So it is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction. But this is different from SN1, SN2, SNI and SNAR. So new concept is given nucleophilic substitution reaction via tetrahedral intermediate intermediate which is also called as SNTH so reaction is nucleophilic substitution via tetrahedral intermediate 